Hello, we are Yıldız Robert team from Yıldız Technical University of Istanbul, Turkey. With a team of over 20 members and years of experience over various competitions, we are proud to present to you our fourth generation rover, Genesis. We've been participating in competitions like URC, ARC, ERC and Technofest for the past four years. While we've secured first and second place in some, every competition has contributed to our growth. Building on this experience, we are driven to push even further this year and in the future. Our team operates out of the workshop at Yıldız Technical University's Davut Pasha campus. Using essential equipment like 3D printers, grinders and engravers, we handle most of our prototyping and manufacturing in-house. Sponsor support is crucial for larger scale production needs. Besides being a workspace, our workshop is a central gathering point for the team, fostering a collaborative and research-focused atmosphere. This setup fuels our drive for innovation and competitive success. The Yıldız Over team has a detailed structure, a technical and business team leader oversees seven specialized sub-teams. This allows a wide range of perspectives in decision-making, greatly increasing success. Google Calendar and Notion are used for planning and distributing tasks. This helps with clear tasks and timeline visualization, enabling quick progress and requirement adaptions. We take a systematic and practical approach to designing, building and testing our rover. Using campus facilities, we assemble the vehicle and conduct tests that simulate competition conditions. This process not only validates its theoretical functionality, but also helps us to identify and address potential problems early on. Our rover's chassis is designed to be modular, durable and easy to maintain. The frame is built using 20 by 20 mm 6000 series aluminum T-slot profiles ensuring a strong yet lightweight structure that's simple to assemble and modify with a height and length of 1150 mm and a width of 850 mm it weighs 55 kg compact yet highly functional for task-based maneuvers to tackle uneven terrain we use a rocker suspension system with a differential bar made of 6061 aluminum alloy placed at the rear to prevent damage when crossing rocks this setup boosts bending strength improves balance and minimizes impact forces on the system. Each wheel is driven by a brushed RS755DC motor capable of 20,000 RPMs at 74 volts, paired with a planetary gear reducer offering a 101 to 1 reduction ratio for high torque and precise control. Our wheels feature airless TPU tires. After testing various designs, we choose a spoke structure for right balance of flexibility and strength. The horizontal threads enhance grip on rough terrain, while the vertical edges assist with turning. This enables the rover climb slopes up to 45 degrees and navigate challenging environments. Our Roboticum has a 6 degrees of freedom and weighs 13.5 kilograms. It's built to be strong and flexible, using 6000 series aluminium for most parts with carbon fiber, TPU and PLA added to reduce weight and simplify production. It can lift more than 5 kg and move smoothly and accurately. This year, we upgrade the gear system to improve torque and reduce backlash. The first axis now uses a brush motor with a 30 to 1 worm gear, replacing last year's belt system. The second axis, requiring the most torque, uses a brushless AK-70 motor with a 30 to 1 psychological reducer. Other axis used brushed motor with a bevel gears and belt system to maintain balance and precision. These improvements make the arm more reliable, easier to maintain and better at performing tasks. The two-fingered adaptive gear ripper, designed with flexible fingers for a wide gripping range and the ability to grasp rounded objects, features an FPV camera positioned between the fingers providing us with a clear perspective during tasks and enhancing precision and control. We developed custom PCBs including power distribution, motor driver, robotic arm and main hub, all integrating STM32 series microcontrollers. Equipped with reverse polarity protection, INA current sensors and output side fuses, our power distribution board significantly improves the system's durability and monitoring capabilities. It allows us to easily access the 5 volt and 12 volt power we need inside the vehicle. An emergency stop button placed in an easily reachable location on the rover ensures instant and unconditional shutdown when necessary. The rover has 25.2 volt, 60 ampere hour lithium ion battery pack, which can supply power all electronic components such as AGX, motors, antennas, and PCBs. This battery pack includes battery management system to avoid overcurrent or overheating problems. The CANBUS protocol is used in the vehicle for internal communication between the microprocessors and the main computer. 
The UART protocol is also keep ready as a backup. A 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz omnidirectional antenna is used for long distance and intensive data transfer. SPI, IS-485, and RS-422 based communication protocols are used for other units such as sensors and encoders. As a software team, we have upgraded our autonomous system and migrated from ROS1 to ROS2 to stay up to date. For localization of the rover, we fuse IMU and stereo camera data. Using an extending camo filter to refine IMU measurements and combining them with stereo vision, our visual inertial SLAM is used to estimate precise positions in real time. Visual inertial SLAM is also used to create a 3D map of the environment, which enables cost map generation. This map identifies obstacles around the rover and plays a crucial role in path planning. Obstacle avoidance is achieved by a heuristic path planning algorithm which utilizes the cost map generated by SLAM. With this algorithm, Robert takes the safest and shortest path. Aruco markers are detected by the combination of OpenCV's library and our custom trained YOLO model to achieve detection in long distance. Our YOLO model is trained with a dataset that contains various photos augmented with different techniques. Our whole autonomy system is tested in Unity before testing it in real conditions. With ROS integration, we can easily test our ROS based software in Unity. As a science team, we have conducted our research in the fields of geology astrobiology by searching for organic and inorganic molecules, biochemical and microbial activities in rock and soil samples. The Bradford test is used for protein detection, Sudan 3 region for lipids, Schiff region for aldehydes and potassium permanganate for biocarbon detection. The soil is collected using a gripper equipped with scoop-shaped fingers and transferred into the container on the rover. These samples are stored in a removable container protected from environmental conditions suitable for scientific hypothesis and the test to be conducted for observations. After collecting the soil sample, we measure the amount of our sample on the rover. We use various sensors to determine whether there are suitable conditions for life. While observing environmental living conditions by detecting components such as atmospheric gases and air quality, we use pH, MPK, temperature, and humidity sensors to assess the presence of a suitable environment for organisms that can form life in the soil. We use a near-infrared reflectance spectrometer to analyze potential water, organic matter, minerals, and other components in rock and soil samples. We also analyze the rock and soil types by using a microscope, muscle color chart, and sedimentary archive.